He's so in his prime, Amazon will be forced to drop him from a drone two hours after you called for him. Of whom am I speaking? Why, it can only be vapid time weasel entrepreneur, Dr. Weasel. Who, with alleged charm Advic Goose, is taking time out to visit the mighty stellar shopping hub that is Shoppington, the greatest store in the universe. Last episode, after some time travelling in a truculent transport tube, the Doctor arrived in the Spaceship Spares Department. Meanwhile, Advic Goose is hurtling down toward the bibliographic delights in Part 3 of Dr. Weasel and the Terrifying Customer's Journey. Oh, my stars and tiny fishes, nothing but books as far as my goosey eyes can see. It's a regular bibliophile's fantasy come to life. Oh, I can see I'm going to struggle to make my point with the doctor later. Why, there's enough books here to keep me amused for a lifetime. Heavens, two lifetimes. Attention, all consumers, great and small. Also, those who are immaterial or composed entirely of thought. Don't forget, with a Shoppington's loyalty card, you get more than points or crystal decanters. You get a lifelong commitment to better service. Oh, that's right, I was going to get one of those. Now, how do I go about it? Oh, I know, I lost this information thingy. Hello? Are you switched on? Oh, go oh good, right, right. Now, how do I go about getting one of those smashing-sounding loyalty cards? Thank you for your question, valued consumer. Loyalty cards can be obtained by speaking to any of our thousands of customer assistants, conveniently located around the store. The application process is easy, and membership is lifelong. Marvellous, simply marvellous. Now, I'll just put it over to that lady in the rather extravagant hairpiece NASCAR. And I said, Mr. Starter, this isn't the Shoppington's way. Why, if my sainted mother was still alive and in service here, it would make her weep to see. Uh, Sorry, love. I'll be with you in half a moment. Here, what does he look like? Dressed up to the nines like he's out for a night on the thermal tiles? Do you think he's one of them? Yes, one of them for sure. Just look at those shabby pyjamas he's got on. Plus, he looks like some kind of waterfowl. Probably one of those turkeys you read so much about on the hyperweb. Madame, if I could just interject for a moment. You keep your beak out of this, consumer. I'll get you once I've finished talking to Miss List here. I was only going to ask if you could cast your aspersions and insinuations in your own time. What a flaming cheek, eh, Mrs. Farspring? Why, I've got half a mind to... Attention, attention. This is a staff announcement. Mr. Starter cordially reminds all consumer assistants that their continued existence at Shoppington's relies on reaching mandated sales targets, as well as achieving acceptable customer satisfaction scores. Oh, cripes, Dotty! I, I guess you'd better serve this geezer! Finally! Thanks, Zarquad. Now, my name is Goose, not Turkey, and I'm in search of bibliographic mana. Now, do you have any books on Euclid? See, Elsie, I told you he was one of them. Bleeding academic. Right then, Doctor. I think I've managed to send the servitor bots off on everything you need. Ish, see, what a list. Didn't realise we had half wrecked battle cruisers in dock this week. No, 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 not a battle cruiser, just my little wheeze this. But the poor old girl's taken quite a hammering lately, what with units, cyborg reels, and French madams chasing me all over the time stream. Right, yeah. Well, it'll be all here in an hour. Sorry, did you say time stream? Yes, the Weezes is a time-space machine. That's why I need all that optical organic mega-webbing to balance our chronal scales. Now, about one of those Shoppington loyalty cards. I hear I get quite a discount, and a time weasel I may be, but I'm not made of platinum. Dr. Weasel, was it? Can we just pop into the back office for a couple of minutes? Look, Mr. Teflon, it's not that I'm not flattered by the attention, because really, I am. It's just I'm the kind of weasel who uh, likes to run up ladies' drapes, not some random bloke's trousers. No, no, you misunderstand. I need to show you something in private. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time someone came to the wrong conclusion about me, and that's why I can never go back to Barnsley. Or Rotherham. Or Home Firth, for that matter. No, Doctor. 
There's something about Shoppingtons you need to know. Commander, I just need to take this consumer into the back office to process his identity for the loyalty card. Is that okay if I leave the floor? Very well, Mr. Teflon, but try not to take all millennia about it. I'll deal with this new consumer we have here. Good day, sir. My name is Commander Flamingo, and how can Shoppington serve you today? Well, it's my hyperdrive overcompensator. I think it's overcompensating, and I don't think about that at any of that. Well, I have to say, Mr. Teflon, that behind the scenes, Shoppington's seen better days. That computer unit, surely that's an antiquated model. It is ancient old thing, but Doctor, it's not networked. He can't scan what I'm doing with it, and I'm pretty sure there's no monitors in this room either. Of course there's a monitor, I can see it right there! It lit up when you turn the computer on! Not a screen monitor, no. I'm in a scanner, watching our every move, making sure we keep the consumer happy, and sell through enough stock every month. You'll pardon me, Teflon old chum, but that sounds like pretty bog standard commercial practice. You should try working for Sports Direct. I hear they insist on performing a cavity search after every shift. Not quite sure how that motivates the staff, mind you. And uh, now, about this loyalty card. Loyalty card? Doctor, that's the last thing you want. What Shoppingtons say is there for life. They mean it. You sign up for one and they own you. Body, mind and soul. And should you avoid the terms and conditions? <sighs> it's not worth thinking about. Right, okay, so creepy old store, loyalty card, a big no-no. Gotcha! Now, what was that you were going to show me? Look, I'll make you see Shoppingtons in a new light. And if you're the person I think you are, Doctor, I know you're going to need to help us. And sign there. We'll just take a teeny tiny mind scan. And done. Congratulations, Consumer Advic Goose. You are now a happy member of the Shoppington's loyalty card scheme for however long you live. Wonderful! Oh, just wonderful! I get the feeling this is the start of something simply marvellous. Yes, Consumer. Now I just need to subdermally inject the loyalty card and we're all done. Inject? Wait, that wasn't part of the dream of... <laughs> Has Advic managed to inject some excitement back into the shopping experience? Just what is Mr. Teflon going to reveal about Shoppington to the Doctor? And what's so bad about a loyalty card? I got dozens of them and... Oh my stars! I've just read the small print! I thought I'd only sold my soul to Santa! Well, if I'm still here next time, maybe I'll learn my lesson in part four of Dr. Weasel and the terrifying customer's journey. Dr. Weasel the Weasel, tell you all your enterprise productions, starring Randolph Weasel as Dr. Weasel, Coons and Goose as Big Goose, Miss Flipper as Commander Flamingo, Elliot Stewart Stewart as Mr. Teflon, Willow Miller as Mrs. Fastbrook, and Sim Hart as Miss List. <laughs>